G7 looking at capping the price of Russian oil after just about everything else they've done hasn't worked. Coming up here in the job. Hi folks, Alex Klingelhafer here with Existential Wealth Advisors. It is 6.35 here in the middle part of the country on Tuesday. It is June 28th, 2022. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. Want to start off in Bavaria, where the G7 leaders are meeting, talking about a lot of things. Let's go over their list of priorities. First, food for the world, a $5 billion pledge. That's pretty cool. Second, looking to cap the price of Russian oil. That looks like it's going to be a little bit more difficult, guys. So the G7 has come together and said, hey, if Russian oil is going to be above a certain price cap, we don't know what that number is. We invite countries around the world to go ahead and join us in not funding Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine. Only problem is the only marginal buyers of Russian crude are India and China, and they really don't care. So again, lots of posturing from the West here, not something that's probably going to move the needle from an economic perspective. China with a new policy update, you have to wait seven days after getting back from foreign places. If you go back to China, used to be two weeks that allow Chinese executives to travel a little bit. Chinese air stocks are up quite a bit on the news. On a go forward basis, if China does continue its loosening up its China, its COVID policy, could be a good thing for the world economy in desperate need of some good news among inflation and recession concerns. Last but not least, before we get you off to a nice Tuesday, American Air, their Envoy Air subsidiary, they're offering triple pay for pilots. As I've been saying for weeks, we see recession headlines, inflation, yada, yada, yada. All of the underlying numbers suggest we are continuing to surge economically from a consumption perspective. Full airlines, full schedules, everything going well, full uh, pumps at gas stations. The economy continues to do fairly well despite a number of headwinds that aren't going away but aren't having much effect right now. If you want some additional info throughout the week, feel free to find me on the internet. I am out there. Till then, hope you and your family have a really good rest of your Tuesday. I am out.